I'm Tilly, um, I've been at Sherfield since I've been in nursery. I'm doing art, business and psychology. I'm Emily, I'm in year 13. I study English history and art product design and I've been here since year nine. I'm Oshin, I'm in year 13. I'm studying uh, history, music and English here at Sherfield. Uh, and I have been here for about 15 years, so since nursery essentially. Hi, my name is Sasha and I'm studying Art, Biology and English Literature at Sherfield Sick Form and I started when I was in pre-reception. My name's Jack, I started studying here in Year 12 and I study the BTEC Sport Curriculum and BTEC Business. Hi, I'm Millie, I do Art, English and Psychology at Sherfield Sick Form and I started at Sixth Form in Year 5. My name's Natalie and I'm studying Maths and Business and I've been here since reception. My name's Gemma, I've been studying here since Year 9 and I'm currently studying Geography, Biology and Chemistry. Hi, I'm Susie, I'm studying Psychology, Economics and English Literature. I joined Sherfield in the middle of Year 10 after Christmas. Hi, my name is Nomso. Um, I study chemistry, biology and psychology and I've been at the Sherfield since year 7. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a year 13 student at uh, Sherfield Sixth Form. I study business, sport and psychology and I joined in year 12. Hi, my name is James. I'm in year 13. I'm studying further maths, physics and computer science. And I've been here since nursery. The teachers like know me so well. Like it's been like they've kind of helped me grow and because of that they know exactly how I need to learn. Uh, mostly just the familiarity of it, like uh, I, I know the teachers uh, well, I know the surroundings well, I, it's just uh, it's like a second home. My main reason was the class sizes, for example in art, which you need a lot of kind of communication with your teacher, it's just me and another student, so I really benefit from the small class sizes. But also in classes like English, I have five students, so you can still debate things and discuss things. It's literally the perfect size. It was just like homely, like I've been here my whole life, and it was just like a secure place. And I just felt really safe here. I just think Sheffield's a very nice school and the community's great and I've lived most of my life going abroad and going to different environments so I stayed because I really thought it was just like a great experience and it was a good community and I'd liked, I wanted some stability and to just and all the teachers are very nice and there's always the benefit of small classrooms so if you ever don't understand anything you can just ask the teacher and I know my, all my teachers now because I've been here for two years very well we have jokes in class it's really great. Because the environment really so because I'm taking academic subjects. Um, that requires a lot of focus. I didn't, I was pretty set on going somewhere else for a very long time. And then I got my GCSE results and I just thought to myself, what would my 30 year old self want me to do? Like what would my adult self think? Um, not always, so I looked at three other colleges and I stayed mainly due to like the travel and the time that I could be studying rather than on a train or on a bus going to Farnborough <laughs> and it's so convenient just staying mainly for that reason to really focus my time on my study. went to the open days and I didn't connect with anywhere like I've connected here and it was just straight away I knew I meant to stay. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> no I didn't always know. I originally planned on actually going to Peter Simmons but um, I thought I would probably do better here because of like the smaller class sizes. Um, it's like a little family really, especially in the sixth form. Like you all know each other and we all go to lunch together and have like social outside of school and stuff like that. So it's like a little family. I like being able to go like off site to go do my riding and stuff. Um, that's nice. The sense of like community that there is, it's, it's quite unique. Uh, I've spoken to other people from other schools and they don't really have a similar sort of connection between the students and the uh, parents and the teachers and everything outside. The people and the teachers and just the community, for example with the houses, and I feel like there's a really good sense of like the older children mixing with the younger children, influencing them. I love that there's a good 
The teachers are all really friendly and that you, that you can go to them for advice. I found it quite easy, honestly. Uh, the workload is a little bit more heavy for the subjects that you're doing, but because there's less subjects, it sort of balances it out. Really easy, especially because we already know our teachers, so they already know our strengths, our weaknesses, and we already know everyone, like we know all our friends, and it's lovely to have new people, but you already feel like you're in a safe space and you know your way around and know where you're going, so no, it was very easy. Easy. There was no stress really about it, because it just felt like I was, I'm already here. Like you get quite a bit more work, but you've got your free period where you do it and uh, you're going home, you don't really have to do any homework when you get home. So with Miss Mark, we can go to her anytime we want to go over our personal statement drafts and she's really helpful with perfecting them because we've done like a paragraph at a time so she can really perfect them. And also she kind of directs you towards the course that you want to do because I knew I wanted to do fashion but I wasn't 100% what course that I wanted to do. She really helped me to find an idea. Well, we've had multiple seminars with our teachers and Ms. Seamark at the sixth form has been doing multiple checks over our personal statement to make sure that it's as good as it can be before you send it off. Being at Sherfields, they give you lots of real life responsibilities. So they give you roles, so like prefect roles. So I'm English prefect and by doing that I've been able to write in the school newsletter and which has given me a lot of experience that I can take into the workplace. Recently I've been part of a marketing project which has involved doing a newsletter and talking about the sick form within that and recently setting up an Instagram account to promote the sick form to the next generation of students so it's there's more of a link between the students rather than through the parents so it's more personal. Definitely the small class sizes um, just because you just get a lot more help to be honest. The fact that I can go to a teacher at any point in the day and they'll say if they can't see me then it will be like oh come to me at this time, I'm free then. You can come in at 8 in the morning which I have done on a couple of occasions. They're not afraid to like give up their weekends either. I've had a couple of like lessons on weekends and stuff if I need it. If you're at a bigger college, I'd say that there's 30 people in a class, your teacher isn't going to be able to mark your work, let's say in a day, mark everyone's work in a day and get it back to you and give you feedback individually. I was originally at a public college and then I came here because I didn't like the course I was doing and I wasn't allowed to switch, I wasn't allowed to switch. So I came here and they offered me any course. Moving forward and going to university we have Miss C. Mark who's extremely good at helping us with personal statements, we can go to her at any time. Whereas at a college, you don't really get that, you don't really even know like your head of year. So I think that's really important, especially now in year 13 when you're getting serious about like your future, it's very helpful. That's a personal relationship with teachers, so they understand you more, they understand what you need more. You have your own personalised area where you can put things up, and you can study there. They te you t treat you like a young adult. It's kind of you get the freedom and you're expected to perform like an adult, which is a really good thing because it gives you like a good workspace environment almost. We're kind of treated as more mature, more adults, we have more responsibilities. And also we're kind of expected to be more independent and go off by ourselves and research further, which I think is really good. It's more relaxed in terms of like they sort of like trust you to like do the work and get on with it you know rather than being told exactly what what to do which I quite like personally. Well I mean they treat us more like adults really. I'd say that you have to look at the bigger picture you're only at college or sixth form for two years but when you go on to university you're there for even longer and then with your career you really need that support getting to university. So you can go to college and have a great time, but you can still have, you know, your social life here, especially because you can kind of get all your work done in the day rather than you're travelling and then have to do your work when you're at home. Uh, definitely try and um, make the most out of the subjects offered and sort of definitely choose carefully, but also once you're in there, make the most out of the opportunities given by teachers. Don't think of now, think of 10 to 15 years down the line when you're looking for jobs and they're thinking, right, what university course did you study, what 
what would get you into university, that's what you need to think about. It's not where your friends are going because you have social life anyway. Nothing's changed really for me, it's just been the quality of education has been so much better because I've stayed.